first batch of result came back. Uh, it was three holes. To all of particular interest on the section 250, we came back with the 0.89 grams over 7.7 .7 meters. And the second hole also came back at 5.06 gram over 10 meters, including in a high grade of about 71 grams. Hello and welcome to another Ask TV edition. We're catching up with Tomo Gold today on their exploration and drilling activity at the Shibugamo complex in northern Quebec. And I'm delighted to be speaking again with David Grondin, who's the president and CEO of Tomo Gold. Welcome, David. Thank you very much for having me today. Yeah, it's great to be speaking again on your project. So let's go straight to the uh, good news that you've got uh, on Abalski. Can you take us through uh, some of the results that you've been getting back recently? Yes, yeah, so you know we started to drill uh, back in uh, December, and we've been continuing to drill, uh, you know, as we announced, and uh, we just finished. So the first batch of result came back. Uh, it was three holes, two holes of particular interest on the section 250. We came back with the 0.89 grams over 7.7 .7 meters, and the second hole also came back at 5.06 gram over 10 meters, including in a high grade of about 71 gram. So what we like about this is, you know, is as we continue to develop the model and uh, continue to do the interpretation that we're, we're consistently hitting like some on a consistent basis, good grades. So we, we really like that. Uh, the width on a certain area is, is still holding up. So we kind of uh, really satisfied with that. And then the search should be too. And uh, we quite, we feel really confident for the future of the campaign of the grades based on observation we saw in the core, but we need to have the grade from the lab. So all our sample are currently in the labs. Uh, they went on different batch. So you can expect, you know, different press release over the next few weeks, you know, as the result come in and we process them. So to come to the market and talk more about it. So for the grade, it was really, it was really good for us. We're kind of satisfied. Yep, excellent. And um, you've also had an IP survey back, an induced polarization survey conducted. Um, what did that reveal? Well, see, the thing we hate the most is drilling <laughs> and not getting anything. So, you know, after we've compiled the project a lot and we went to all the former geophysics survey and everything, we were trying to develop new tools to better define the target. We're lucky that, you know, because we're drilling a pyrite, pyrotene, calcopyrite uh, deposit, you know, normally with char high chargeability, we should have a good idea, you know, and th there's a lot of factor we can look for in terms of targeting and help us define it, right? The second advantage that we have is the massive database that we have, and people seem to discount this, but, you know, 75,000 of historical drilling, it's worth, what, 15 million today, if I have, would have to drill that, it would take me a year or two to drill. There's a lot of value into it. And we have everything, the lithology, the yeah. description, the essay. Now, if we are matching it with the IP on the ground that we have, it will help us even better define, target, identify some even zone that we've missed or underexplore. So yes, so on a preliminary basis, we're still waiting for the final uh, report. We see some large elements, uh, in certain cases, very large one. And, but we need to fine tune this. We have to have the final word on that one, but we feel highly confident in what we see. So confident that basically we decided to extend the IP line that we've done. So we've done 6.4 kilometers of lines of survey every you know, 400 meter long over you know, a few kilometers wide. So now what we're doing is we're standing to the south about nine kilometers of lines. So we will almost double the previous survey based on the current observation that we have. Uh, to the south, one word on, on that, there was not so, so many drilling done. So for us, it's very good. It means we can correlate with, from the north part to the south, but it, it can potentially identify a completely new zone for us. So this is quite exciting and we really, really like it. So yes, you know, it uh, looks bright for that particular part. Yeah, we, we, we really like it. Excellent. And are you doing more of the IP surveying or is um, the, the uh, line cutting has been finished? Uh, they will start maybe in a week or two. It's ground condition. It's really, you know, very cold this time of the year. I think this morning it's minus 35. Mm. So the, the, some team are working slower on other the surveys. So most likely we'll be able to start that before the end of the month or by, you know, first week of March, if everything is finished. 
and from there it will you know it will take i don't know like a week or two weeks 10 days 10 15 business days to do the survey after that processing the data but we will already have the permanent one for the north part the one that we've done that we just talked about so that we will probably be able to release some charts models interpretation and disclose to the market what we see right now so yeah excellent very good. Okay, so you've also been expanding Abalski to the West via some acquisitions. Could you talk us through the approach there? Yes. Well, if you remember a few years back, uh, Obalski was only like the original claim of the project, right? And uh, we, after that, we went and we acquired 49% on the West flank. And last year, we bought 100% on the South flank. Yeah, everything is South, large package. But you know, 49%, 51%, that's on the West side. So yes, we considered the interest that uh, we picked up from Yobo for 1.5 million shares. So at 5 cents, it's 75 grand or whatever. So we have we have now our clean ownership, 100% of all the original claim of Obaski is us. South is 100% Tomogol, West is 100% Tomogol. So, you know, we are, um, it's our house now. So. It's, it's basically land positioning, but you know, since we see how the geophysics is structuring and the drilling, we just want to make sure we have elbow, we call it elbow room on the west flank. So that's why we picked that up. There's, a, there's also a clause for ha buying back half of the NSR for 1 million because it was a 2% NSR granted, so. Excellent, so you're really defining the resource overall here. Um, how, how much of the current drilling program is left to run then? Right now, the current drilling program is finished. Uh, we finished it uh, last, uh, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday was the last day of the drill. So everybody has pulled out. Every, all the samples are in the lab. We're waiting for that. So now we'll just wait for you know the IP. The, the IP is, is really important for us to get because it will help us really correlate all the historical drilling You know, with everything we've done recently in the past, see it really in 3D. We fine tuning the modernization. So when we're going to get the grades back, and of course, there's also, also the, the drill availability, which is also, you know, everybody has the same issue. So the drill moves to another project and will come back. So it's okay. So drilling is finished, waiting for the grade. IP is going, IP will be extended. Uh, a lot of work, basically, a lot of work will be done. Um, and after that, we're just going to get the drill rolling again. Yep. Most likely for something like 10 to 15,000 meter, basically. But we'll see, to, we'll wait to see. Mm, certainly. Okay. And do you have any update from the other projects in the portfolio? Uh, no. Uh, well, basically, we have focused a lot on Obaski. Uh, like I said, Azar, Monsaic East and West are like on standby. We mm. work from time to time, Azar, to just, you know, fine tune because we see other people around us in that area working. So we keep our database updated. Yeah, I, will, I will call it like maintenance. But uh, we haven't done work. We're like, really focusing highly on Obaski right now because we're on a good, really good track. So we want to stay there right now. Don't want to lose our attention for now. Yeah, certainly the progress and the, the pace is uh, accelerating. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, look, uh, leads me to ask David. You know, what's the sort of strategy from here? Because you're certainly uh, no stranger to making successful discoveries and selling them or JVing them on in terms of. What you did with Gold Corp and I'm Gold in the past. Um, what's the strategy for Summer Gold from here? Well, the strategy right now is, is focusing on, like like you said, you know, we we made a discovery. We sold it to I Am Gold. Uh, we 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 bought some other small claim that we sold back afterwards. So and we liquidated everything to get some cash and equities into the, these companies now. So it's still still on our balance sheet. It's worth five six million depending on days. So we're still in a really good financial position. So strategy is not to deplete too much the financial position while advancing the project. I'm not saying we'll, we'll not contemplate a transaction with anybody right now. Uh, we think Obaski has a lot still to deliver. We want to give the full value to Obaski. As I said, um, people are maybe overlooking this, but you know, 75,000 meter of historical drilling, if there's a way to give a, val a real intrinsic value to these, all these great and results that we have, it is, there will be a lot of value built into the project, uh, just that it was never done before. But if I can turn it into a valuation, that would be very great. And of course, accelerating Obaski in terms of strategy is a really good one. Um, a lot of effort has been put in the project in the last few years, and now we're, we're just collecting the fruits of it. So if we are 
because in exploration we need some locks if we're lucky enough uh that can go on a really fast track into i mean in terms of resource definition resource you know defining accelerating developing and then getting to a 42101 like you know it's an foreseeable future you know that's possible mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, very good to get the updates there, David. Uh, it seems great progress made so far. And we really look forward to catching up um, on some of those results that you get back in the next few weeks. Thank you very much. Thank you.